Michael Maiwaye let out a small sigh as he was cleaning the kitchen counter in Chaldea's cafeteria. As he was wiping the counter, he had a few thoughts going in his mind. Well, it's been long time since I arrived here at Chaldea and my life has changed from my time as a counter guardian for Alea. I don't have to kill anybody on site on missions, I'm allowed to cook if I wish to, and the atmosphere here is something I can get used to. Especially with all of the servants here. EMIYA thought as his mind went back into the past. Back to the day when EMIYA was summoned in Chaldea. Servant Archer. I come in response to your summons, EMIYA said as he introduced himself to Ritsuka and Mashu, who were in front of him. Meanwhile, Ritsuka and Mashu were surprised to see Archer. Because they've already seen him, well, a blackened version of him. Wow. So, this is Archer not blackened. Not only that, but this one is from another timeline. Ritsuka and Mashu thought. Um, Master? EMIYA said, snapping Ritsuka out of his thoughts. HM? Oh, sorry Archer, Ritsuka apologized. Um, do you have a name besides Archer? Mashu asked. Sorry Master, but it seems that I don't remember my name. However, don't worry Master, it doesn't bother me, EMIYA replied as he doesn't want to say his name. I see. Anyways, welcome to Chaldea Archer, Ritsuka said with a smile. Chaldea? What's that? EMIYA asked. An organization designed to protect humanity. EMIYA gave Ritsuka's answer a long thought. An organization designed to protect humanity? Well, that's new. I've never heard of Chaldea before. Um, Archer? Ritsuka said, snapping EMIYA out of his thoughts. HM? Oh, it's nothing, Master. Anyways, Master, what am I going to annihilate? I will slaughter your enemies as you wish. For a moment, Ritsuka and Mashu were quiet upon hearing what EMIYA just said. Um, Archer, here's the thing. We don't have to kill people. EMIYA was surprised. Wait. You don't have to kill people? Why yeah, Mashu replied. But then how is Chaldea going to protect humanity? Well, what Chaldea does in order to protect humanity is that we preserve humanity's history by going to singularities and fix them. Is that so? EMIYA asked as he was both interested and slightly relieved. Yeah. Anyways, do you want a tour of Chaldea? Ritsuka asked. Sure. I don't mind, EMIYA replied. Great. Let's go then. Soon, Ritsuka, Mashu, and EMIYA went out of the summoning room and Ritsuka and Mashu gave EMIYA a tour of Chaldea. As the tour continued, EMIYA was surprised with how high-tech Chaldea was along with Mashu telling EMIYA how Chaldea was created by Marisberry Animusphere after he won the Holy Grail War of Fuyuki in this world in 2004. So, it seems that I landed in a timeline that is different from the one that I came from. Unlike the timeline I came from, this timeline only had one Grail War, and from what Mashu told me, Marisberry Animusphere created Chaldea after he won this world's Fuyuki Holy Grail War. He thought as he continued walking alongside Ritsuka and Mashu. Hey Archer, are you okay? Ritsuka asked, snapping EMIYA out of his thoughts. HM? Oh, yeah. I was just thinking about some things, EMIYA replied. I see. Anyways, the room that we're about to come up next is the cafeteria. The cafeteria, huh? EMIYA said with a small smile on his face. Yes. Is there something wrong with that? Mashu asked. Well, no. It's just that I have some fond memories of cooking. Really? Are you able to cook by any chance? Ritsuka asked. You can say that. I have experience in cooking. I see. 
Eventually, Ritsuka, Mashu, and EMIYA arrived at the cafeteria. As they did, EMIYA was surprised to see that there were other servants in the cafeteria. Some of them were ones he already met. Um, master, there are other servants here. What should we do? EMIYA asked. Relax, Archer. Everyone here is an ally, Ritsuka replied. EMIYA was surprised to hear Ritsuka's statement. Are you serious? Yes. Wait, so that means, did you summon all of them? Yes. And there's more here. For once, EMIYA was shocked as he was processing the fact that Ritsuka summoned all of those servants. Just what kind of master did I get? Back to the present. EMIYA let out a small sigh as he continued cleaning the kitchen counter. Even since I was summoned in Chaldea, things have changed for me. I'm not killing innocent people on sight unlike my time with Alea, and for once, I can enjoy myself. I'll admit, I was surprised to hear that Master summoned all those servants here, although Chaldea is supplying for them, so that's a relief for him. Although I'm still surprised with the amount of servants Master has summoned here. Especially, since some of them I already knew from either history books or from the Holy Grail War I was in. In fact, I still cannot believe that Thomas Edison and Nicholas Tesla are here as well. Although why does Thomas Edison have a lion's head on him and wear spandex that looks like a superhero costume? That's not how the history books depicted him. Not only that, but why does Nicholas Tesla look so young? I swear, history tends to get historical figures mixed up for some reason. Soon, EMIYA was done cleaning the kitchen countertop and soon started to leave the cafeteria. As he did, he passed by many servants with many legends. Some, which were talking about Amiya Shiro. Wow. It's only been months since my younger counterpart arrived here in Chaldea and he's already the subject of many topics to talk about. I'm surprised that he's already this popular here. Soon, EMIYA stopped and looked at the window. However, the most shocking thing that I have ever seen was finding out that I have an altered counterpart. Months earlier, EMIYA was walking in one of Chaldea's hallways, minding his own business. As he did, he ended up bumping into a certain servant. Ow, the servant said as he fell to the ground. Ow, are you alright? EMIYA asked as he was lending the servant a hand to get up. Yeah. I'll be fine, the servant replied as he grabbed EMIYA's arm and pulled himself up. As the servant got himself up, EMIYA was shocked to see who the servant was. And the servant was shocked as well. The servant looked like him, but his skin was darker, his hair was shaved, and his eyes were golden. The outfit he was wearing consists of black sleeves with golden accents ending in thick metal manacles, black pants with a weave pattern, and white boots. His torso was showing as he was lacking a shirt. For a moment, both servants were shocked as they looked at each other while saying nothing. This servant, oh you got to be kidding me, he's me, they both thought in unison. Back to the present again. To this day, I'm still surprised that my altered counterpart looks like a gangster from Shinjuku. Furthermore, from what he told me, he turned Concho and Bakuya into twin guns. I wonder what caused him to change weapon styles. EMIYA thought as he continued looking at the sky. Eventually, EMIYA got tired of looking at the sky and decided to do something. Maybe I'll go to the training room next to clear my mind off of things. EMIYA then soon went into the training room. As he did, he saw someone over here who was already training. HM? Oh, hey Archer. Or should I call you EMIYA? Lancer CU asked with a grin on his face as he noticed him. EMIYA sighed. Just call me Archer, CU. All right then. So Archer, what brings you here to the training room? Lancer CU asked as he continued practicing with Gibald in his hands. Oh nothing. 
Just thought that I could clear my mind of some things and practice on my skills, EMIYA replied. Is that so? Or are you worried that your younger counterpart will surpass you and leave you right in the dust? Lancer CU asked with a smug grin on his face. TCH. You really like to push people's buttons, huh? EMIYA said. Lancer CU's smug grin grew even further. Then you won't mind if I fight you right now? EMIYA sighed. Sure. Lancer CU grinned. Great. Let's go then, he said as he went to the training arena. EMIYA soon followed him afterwards. As both EMIYA and Lancer CU got onto the training arena, Lancer CU readied himself as he was in his signature fighting pose. You ready? EMIYA let out a chuckle. As I'll ever be. He replied as he projected Concho and Bakuya. Great. Here I go then. Lancer CU said as he lunged himself at EMIYA. Soon, EMIYA and Lancer CU clashed with their weapons in their hands. As they did, Lancer CU pushed EMIYA back a bit with his spear. However, EMIYA quickly recovered and regained his stance. As he did, Lancer CU was about to lunge his spear at him, but EMIYA quickly dodged CU's strike to the side and proceeded to stab him. However, Lancer CU quickly saw that move and he dodged that. As he did, he then swung his spear at EMIYA in which EMIYA quickly blocked it with Concho and Bakuya. You know, it's been a while since we last fought, huh? Lancer CU said. Really? Yeah. Well, aside from your younger self, that is. EMIYA sighed as CU mentioned his younger counterpart. Really? How did he fight against you? Lancer CU smiled. Honestly, he gave me quite the challenge. Probably the best I ever had quite a while. And the same goes well for my counterparts as well. Is that so? Yeah. In fact, I couldn't even believe my eyes upon hearing that he fought against my mentor and her counterpart, CU said as he started swinging against EMIYA. EMIYA was surprised to hear Lancer CU's statement while dodging Lancer CU's swings at the same time. Really? My younger counterpart actually fought against Scat Hack, the Queen of Shadows, and her counterpart? Geez, just what did he do to earn their attention? Wait, I do not want to know. As EMIYA and Lancer CU continued fighting, they eventually stopped swinging at each other and moved back to their corners of the arena and gave themselves some space. As they were gathering breath, Lancer CU said something to EMIYA. You know, I had a weird feeling that the kid was somewhat related to you. And after hearing Mira Mesa saying that you were him from an alternate future timeline, everything made sense, Lancer CU said. Yeah. Honestly, I wished Mira Mesa didn't reveal that secret. EMIYA muttered. Hey, secrets can't be hidden forever. Eventually, they'll be revealed in due time, Lancer CU said as he readied himself. True, EMIYA said as he readied himself as well. EMIYA and Lancer CU then launched towards each other with their weapons in their hands. As they did, EMIYA kicked Lancer CU backwards, making him lose his footing and allowing EMIYA to rush at him. Wow. You're putting some work into this. Lancer CU said. I'll take that as a compliment, EMIYA replied as he blocked on of Lancer CU's strikes. As he did, he moved back by a bit and projected copies of Concho and Bakuya. He then shot the copies at Lancer CU, in which he deflected them by spinning his spear around. In an instant, the copies of Concho and Bakuya went all over in the arena. Both EMIYA and Lancer CU were breathing heavily as they were exhausted from the moves they were executing earlier. Say, that wasn't half bad there. Lancer CU said. Yeah, I was wondering why you didn't show this much strength the first time we faced each other. EMIYA said. 
Well, to be fair, my master was a complete coward. Is that so? Yeah. He wouldn't let me have the fight that I ever wanted, anyways, let's settle this, shall we? EMIYA smirked. Sure. Don't cry if you lose. Likewise, Lancer CU replied with a smirk of his own. And they then lunged at each other for the final time. Phew. That was a close match. Lancer CU said as he was wiping the sweat off his face with a hand towel. Yeah, you were quite a challenge there. EMIYA replied as he did the same as Lancer CU was doing. Right now, EMIYA and Lancer CU were taking a break after their match and were now resting on a nearby bench with water bottles EMIYA brought over from the nearby vending machine. Hey Archer, can I ask you something? Lancer CU asked. Sure. What is it? EMIYA replied. Well, how do you feel about your younger counterpart arriving here? For a moment, EMIYA was silent on the topic as he was thinking of an answer to say. Then he said his answer. Well, to be honest. I expected him to arrive here since well, I've seen multiple counterparts of you, the King of Knights, and many other people I've already met. I mean, if that can happen, then so can he. I see. See you said as he took a sip of his water bottle. However, I was glad for a bit. You were glad? About what? That he didn't repeat the same mistakes that I made in the past. Furthermore, he didn't let his ideals betray him and he was able to move on without falling into despair, unlike me in the past. See you was interested in what EMIYA just said. And what mistakes did you make yourself in the past that made you different from your younger counterpart? EMIYA was silent before replying, I don't want to talk about it. Fair enough, Lancer CU said as he sipped on his water bottle again. So, you're okay with your younger counterpart here then? Yeah. Anyways, what are your thoughts on my younger counterpart arriving here? Lancer CU gave EMIYA's question a long thought and said, Well honestly, I'm surprised that the kid was able to turn into a heroic spirit. Furthermore, during the practice match I had with him, he impressed me with how much he's improved compared to the last time I saw him. Not only that, but when my other counterparts came by earlier, he gave all of them a good fight. He even surprised them when he pulled Gibald out of nowhere. And did that attract the attention of your teacher and your counterpart? Lancer CU shrugged in fear upon hearing EMIYA's question. Why yeah? To be fair, me and my counterparts did not expect Shursho to appear in front of us when we were talking about the kid. EMIYA let out a chuckle upon hearing Lancer CU's tone of voice. You still scared of her? Obviously. When she was summoned here along with her counterpart, me and my counterparts were scared shitless. Honestly, when she and her counterpart had their eyes on the kid, we actually prayed for his safety upon meeting them. EMIYA started laughing. Really? You and your counterparts actually prayed for his safety? That's the most hilarious thing I have ever heard from your mouth. Lancer CU let out a small pout. Well sorry, but she still scares me and my counterparts. And we practically gave the kid a death sentence because she managed to overhear us at that time. In fact, afterwards when we saw the kid alive after his encounter with Shursho and her counterpart, we were relieved and congratulated him that he survived. Really? EMIYA said in a fit of laughter. Yeah. So stop laughing at both me and the kid's misfortune. EMIYA soon slowly stopped laughing. Sorry for laughing about that, he said with chuckles in his voice. Doesn't seem like you're sorry about that. Lancer CU mumbled. EMIYA let out a sigh. Looks like my counterpart has attracted so much attention ever since he arrived here in Chaldea, huh? You can say that again. Ranging from his arrival here to his victory over the King of Heroes, he certainly gained attention here. Heck, 
even Mira Masik gained some attention as well. Oh yeah. That punch of his, you still remember it? EMIYA said. Yes. It was the greatest moment I have ever seen. I'm glad that Castor was there to record the whole thing. Lancer CU said as he reimagined the event in his head. For a moment, EMIYA and Lancer CU said nothing. Then EMIYA broke the silence. It's funny. The first time we met, we were fighting each other in a holy grail war, and now we're chatting like we're friends. Yeah. Quite funny how life works, huh? Especially since the topic that we're talking about is your younger self. Wonder what's he doing right now? Maybe he's cooking at the cafeteria, or fixing something, or testing for Da Vinci again. How would you know? Because I'm him. Remember? EMIYA jokingly said. Lancer CU laughed. You have a point there. And the two continued talking between each other.